let us just uh, continue rotation about x axis as I was talking about in rotation about z axis uh, z dash was in the equations z dash, z dash was assigned with uh, uh, z uh, and x dash and y dash were written in terms of x and y so here when we are talking about uh, rotation about x axis x dash is assigned with x value y dash and z dash are represented by y and z in place of uh, x and y the same changes whatever is uh, shown here that is x is replaced with y y is replaced with z and z is replaced with x so uh, we are going to get these uh, equations and accordingly there uh, we are going to get a different uh, transformation matrices matrices when we represent in a homogeneous coordinate system so again the cyclic permutation of the coordinates in equation 8 gives us the transformation which is leading to a rotation about y axis so here as i said a major change that what we are supposed to do here is again a cyclically rotate this that is y is replaced by z z is replaced by x and x is replaced by y so we are going to get uh, these three equations again so first we'll see as we are doing a rotation about y axis y dash is equal equivalent to y and z and x are written in terms of z x that is same cos theta minus sin theta z cos theta minus x sin theta z sin theta plus x cos theta these equations can be easily remembered so uh, i was uh, talking about uh, cyclic permutation of the cartesian coordinate axis to produce the three sets of coordinate axis rotation as you can see here uh, x is replaced by y y is replaced by z and z is replaced by x this is rotation around x axis when you are making rotation about y axis again we have to cyclically change that y is replaced by z the x is replaced by y and uh, z is replaced by x in order to do a rotation around y axis so this is showing rotation around z axis this is showing rotation around x axis this is showing rotation around y axis so rotation of an object about x axis and y axis are shown in these two diagrams z axis already we have seen let us go for uh, the last basic transformation uh, that is uh, scaling here the scaling as you already seen which is uh, a transformation used to change the size of the object so we also call it as a uh, non it is uh, a type of uh, transformation where the object size is shape and size can also change so here uh, we have seen the representation and uh, also the formulas already in case of uh, 2d scaling a slight variation you can also so we have seen these two equations already in 2d also x dash equal to x into s x and y dash equal to y into s y so we have addition of a z axis so accordingly similar to translation we are getting z dash here so instead of addition it is a multiplication z into s z so we can represent this uh, in uh, homogeneous coordinate system representation uh, where we are taking this uh, p dash equal to s into p form where p dash is representing a column matrix column matrix having x dash y dash z dash one and p same as what we have seen here we can make an observation in this uh, transformation matrix initially we had only s x and s y terms here one more is added that is s z and this will be always uh, common in if you take any kind of transformation when you are uh, representing in 3d homogeneous coordinate representation always the last row will be 0 0 0 1 so this remains common just compare it with rotation or uh, even translation always this uh, last row will be 0 0 1 only so this is all about uh, 3d transformations we'll just go through this and any doubts uh, kindly query me back thank you